we have a creation story, you know, like the, we have a flood. We have, a, we, we had a great flood in, uh, in Domi. Um, he's not the creator, but he is also the creator. He's the creator of things on the earth and in our realm. Okay. Uh, he, he was, um, had everybody in three, three seashells and he was, oh, there was this, you know, great deluge. It was this flood and then he got tired of it. So he sent some waterfall down to, to the bottom to bring up some mud, see if they can. And, and there was, uh, this in itself is a, is a teaching lesson in, in our, um, I won't go into the story with the paraphrasing it. He went down, one of the wa bo waterfall got, bring up some mud in their, in their claw. And Ingdomi took that and he made it into clay and then he made Turtle Island, the North American continent. Okay. And where he landed, where the water landed was Lake Winnipeg. That's our, the point of origin for the Nakoda people because that was where he wanted, he made man. He took that clay and he made a man out of that clay, that dirt. And then as time went on, this human being, this man, got lonesome and he wanted, in each one of these things that I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing our history, they really take a number of hours to tell and their lessons in themselves. But this human being, this man, he got lonesome. So uh, Inktomi made a female from, and unlike the rib of, in the dominant society's religion where they take the rib from Adam, they took the leg from Inktomi, the thigh bone from Inktomi and made the female. There's coyote stories before the Inktomi stories. In the, the coyote is the culprit that messed it up for the people, for the animal people and the spirit people in that realm. Before that, when Ingdomi made the female and made the human race, um, all of the animals could talk to one another. The bird people could talk to the bear people. The bear people could talk to the turtle people. Everybody talked. Um, and then when the human beings were made, the human beings were also included in that. We all talked together. Everybody talked the same language, but the coyote, he, he, um, Hamaya, she messed it up for us <laughs> or for the, for the, for the animal people, because he was one of those people that you don't want to be like, you don't want to be like coyote because coyote was always going in, uh, causing trouble. He was a really good, uh, narrator of stories and he was really sociable. He's a really a sociable person. And, uh, he had a very excellent way of getting the story the current happenings of what's going on with you. And people really liked, liked to visit with him and he would come and he would visit in your camp, your, your teepee, and he'd just really, you know, like, or, or more or less like pump you for the information. And he was, he, he was so good at it that, that, you know, you'd end up telling him all of the stuff, you know, and then he'd go visit to the next teepee and he'd, did you hear about, you know, and he'd just cause trouble like that. He'd go from person to person causing trouble and so it caused so much trouble that um, how Ingdomi handled it was, the, okay, well, now the animal people can't <laughs> talk to the humans, okay? So the human beings, but we're still human. There's no differentiate from human being versus a bear being a human being. They're just a different uh, band of people, I guess you can say, is how, how it relates over to. But anyways, um, uh, Coyote wrote it for and there's a lot of stories. The, the stories are moral values, ethics, uh, religion, culture, and tradition on how we do things. In how, in how uh, an Assiniboine person is to conduct themselves. And, and my father says to walk upright, to walk straight. Okay. Those are all the stories that are put into place to teach us how to do that. The Inktomi stories come later. In, but then uh, on this chronological history too, Inktomi is before Coyote. Inktomi is, is the, the one that created everything, but he's not creator. He's not to be confused with creator. Okay. But then Inktomi, um, I guess he spent his time with, with those animal beings first. And then he spent a lot of time with us humans. And then, and now we're, now we have moved forward in this timeline to where now we're in the society that you see now that time frame so and then again Inktomi's is is um you know to be a good person not to tell lies and, and Inktomi is a person that tells lies he's, he's the same as Kaya was always you know lying and, and getting into trouble and and they when they tell the stories it's you know the the moral ethic of it is don't be like Inktomi or don't be like Coyote 
you know, Assiniboine people do it, do it this way, and do it that way. There's a whole series of those, those, um, there's, I don't know if, the, you wouldn't call them myths or legends, because to, to us, they're real. They really did happen. Okay. When Inktomi was floating around on the, the seven seashells with the animals and stuff, that, that really happened for us. It's not just a legend or a story. You know, that's our history. It's who we are. 